Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, HP Badge Plug, and today I have for you some part gameplay with no other than Hank the Tank. Now, it was about 5 in the morning, and Hank was like, yo, you trying to run? I'm trying to try these new dribble moves out. And I was like, sure, no problem. So I hopped on, turned on the Elgato, and we were down 11-0 first game. First game, it was looking rough. Like, it was, it was close. And I just want to say, for the people that are new, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100 likes on this video. Let's try to go for 100 likes. And make sure that you have entered into the giveaway. The giveaway is in the description. I will be announcing another winner to the giveaway in this video. Now, the winners of the last giveaway in the last video didn't hit me up. So we still have uh, five codes or four codes left. And after the winner, after because I will be um, doing the winner at the end of this video, we'll have four, three or four codes left. It depends on, because I'm giving people 24 hours to message me after they win the giveaway. If they don't message me, if they don't watch my videos, that's their fault. We're going to repick. Now, something I wanted to, to talk about in this video is, do you see this right here? That is three rebounds in a row. Now, we're down 11 to 4. They scored 11 points before we touched the ball. And people in my stream yesterday were being very, I wouldn't even say disrespectful, just very stupid. Let me say that. That's four rebounds, by the way. They scored 11 times, correct, in one possession without giving the ball up. I just got four rebounds in a row. Any one of those rebounds could have went straight to the other team. They could have got the ball, and they could have scored 11 more points and won the game. Now, for my sinners out there, you know how it feels. That's another rebound, by the way. You know how it feels for people to say you just get carried all the time. How, do, how am I getting carried when I just got five rebounds on a team that scored 11 points without giving the ball up? Any one of those rebounds, they could have got back and won the game. Now, these people that come in my streams... They literally act like I don't do anything. They they act like my record's 248 on Xbox because I just sit there and the game starts and I put my controller down. Now, I'm not requesting, I'm not trying to get attention from these people or trying to get some like respect or anything because I know myself, my record is 240 and 8 on Xbox. Now, for the people that watch my streams, you know, and I know, that I don't get carried. I have saved a lot of games. My record could be a lot worse if I didn't get a clutch rebound <clears throat> or a clutch block or a clutch steal. It takes two people to win a game on 2-on-2. Two -on -two. Just like it takes a whole basketball team to win a championship. Michael Jordan never won a championship by himself. He had Scottie Pippen all the time. Michael Jordan was like one in nine, I think, in the playoffs. Um, before, like, in the playoff series before Scottie Pippen or something like that, some crazy statistic like that. And LeBron couldn't do it by himself. He took the the terrible Cavs, awful, disgusting Cavs, with Booby Gibson and Anderson Verjao and Ilgauskas as their best players. No one else. You. Who can you name other than Booby Gibson and those people? He brought that team all the way to the finals. And guess what? They didn't win, even though LeBron would drop 30 every game. Even though LeBron averaged a triple-double last year, he couldn't beat the Warriors. Now, I don't want to get into basketball too much, because I know there's going to be arguing in the comment section. And listen, I live and breathe basketball. I have studied basketball. I play basketball. I play the game. I'm a huge basketball nerd. Okay, I watch basketball all the time. I know, you know, I know, I know any good player player for, on any team from the merger and forward. Now, the reason I don't argue about basketball with people is because most of the time, my basketball IQ is a lot higher than other people's, and that's not a bad thing. That's not you know saying those people are stupid. They just aren't educated on basketball as much. So I just don't argue about it with them. Like when it's it's almost like trying to say 
saying saying a center gets carried on twos is like trying to make an argument that LeBron or Jordan are not in the top ten basketball players of all time. You just can't make that. You can't win that argument. You can't. It's impossible. Now, I on top of like going like three for three or three for four every game, you know, I score very efficiently. Also, get I almost never get outboarded in every game. I drop about three to four assists a game. I get blocks. I get steals. To say that I get carried is such a lack of IQ. Like right there in this game, six for six, one rebound, two assists. How did I get carried? I would love for anybody in the comment section to explain to me how I got carried that game. Now, I was carrying Hank the Tank. And you've seen the first game, I got like six boards on that team that could have easily came back and got the ball and beat us. That was a carry that game. I carried that game. Now, to say that a center just never helps, basically that's what people were saying, is that centers just don't help. Like, it's almost like I just set screens, and that's it. It's not like that. As you can see, boards, steals. Do you see that? That's defense. Defense. Passing lane IQ. It's not hard, but a lot of people can't do it. A lot of people don't do it as good as me. That's why I have a 97% win percentage. Now, I know, I know there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section. I know. As you can see, another block. Look at that. Look at that. A block and a steal. And we get the ball back. There's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section. Of course, a guard has more of a job to actually win the game than a center. You have to score the points, most likely. I mean, I don't score a lot because the paint in this game is terrible. The animations are awful. You know, somebody, you, you pump fake, they go up in the air, and they're like just about to hit the ground again, and you go up, and your guy just loses the ball. Out of nowhere, just loses the ball or gets blocked. Or just, you barely get tapped. And I have a rebounding athletic on PS4. And this happens on PS4. Even with my rebounding athletics. See, I have a pure glass on Xbox. So I can I can kind of understand why, you know, I don't do crazy finishes in the paint. But even on my rebounding athletic, there is plenty and plenty of terrible animations that happen. Almost any game. Every game that I take that I try to score a lot. And that's the reason why I don't like to score a lot. And that's the reason why I win more games. Because, like I said, I play the most efficient way possible to win a game. And if that means not scoring that game because the person has good in the paint defense. Or, you know, I just don't think that I should take up that shot. Because my teammate can get a better look. Then guess what? I'm going to give it to my teammate. I'm sorry. Now... There's going to be people saying, oh, well, a glass is supposed to get rebounds and supposed to get boards or, or set screens. Yeah, obviously. But I set my screens good. I get, um, I almost re out-rebound somebody almost every single game. And I rarely turn the ball. Like, right there, four points, four rebounds, four assists. There's not many centers doing that. There's not. There is really... You cannot tell me a better pure glass on Xbox than me. I don't know about people on PS4 because I don't really play it that much. My record like this on PS4 is because I play with subscribers for the people that don't know. Um, I play with subscribers like two times a week, three times a week. Whenever I stream on PS4, basically, I play with a subscriber. And uh, see, me and, me, and Hank, me and Hank, we were running it up. But usually, I play, I play with subs. So, you know... I'm not going to win every game, and I understand that. But I just want to let, I just want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that a center gets carried every game? After what I just said, don't, don't troll or anything. Give me your actual honest, non-biased opinion, whether you're a guard or you're a center. Tell me, do you think that centers get carried? Like, okay. Not all centers, okay? I'm saying put it put yourself 
in my position. From from watching my gameplay, or if you guys have watched my streams, make sure you turn on my post notifications, by the way, so you can see when I'm streaming, because I stream like five times a week. By watching my games and stuff, do you honestly still think, after what I've said today, and you watch my games, that I get carried? Do you think that I get carried? I want to. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Because I know that I don't get carried. But I still want to see what people have to say. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for me, please. And make sure to turn on post notifications, please, so you can see when I'm streaming and straight when I upload. Um, I follow my biggest fans on Twitter. You have to be a good. You have to be there early on the videos, like it and stuff like that. You got to be in the streams. I follow them. I follow over a hundred people now on Twitter, and we also hit twenty thousand. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button, and we are going to get into the giveaway now. Let's do it. Okay, so like I said in the video, we do have a few codes left. We have three on Xbox on the receipt, and then we have one for PS4. And then I also have an Xbox gift card. Sandra Brown, thanks for the sub. Um, I left my notifications on, sorry. But you guys know how it is. The giveaway will be in the description. So please make sure that you enter into that. Because after the winner of this giveaway, there will be three more codes or four. I don't know what I just said. I think there's five codes left. Three or four more winners. And I will be releasing the winner in each video. So you still have plenty of time to win the giveaway. So anyway, let's get into it. You guys know what I do. I copy the link to the tweet. The people that have retweeted, it will show up on the random retweet generator. And we're going to pick the winner, Marksy. You are the winner, Marksful. You are the winner of the giveaway. And he, oh, never mind. He doesn't follow me. See, this is what happens when you guys don't listen to the giveaway. You, this person just could have won, but they didn't. So let's go to another person. And Isaac69, you are the winner of the giveaway. Let's pick one more, just in case this person doesn't message me back. And NGDJ, you are the... Oh, they don't follow me either. Wow, this is crazy. Let's go to another one. Gripsy. Gripsy is the second winner of the giveaway. So Gripsy, if the other person does not message me within 24 hours, then you will be the winner of this giveaway. If... Neither of these two people messaged me within 24 hours like they did in the last video. We're just going to keep giving away to other people. So if these people don't message in 24 hours, the same code will be here and it will be give, gave away in the next video. So thank you guys. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.